Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Groups. We're in a new sermon series, Personal Calling. If you're wondering why I'm on the video and Pastor Michael is not, uh, although he preached this morning, he was out on a much needed vacation uh, this past week. So I'm filling in for him on the group video uh, this week. So we're gonna start off this evening with an icebreaker. And since Pastor Michael was talking about a compass and directions in our personal calling, I was just curious, who is best in, in your marriage and your relationship, or if you're a single out there, are you good at this? But who is best at taking directions? Uh, who listens the best when given directions by your spouse or significant other? Uh, who does best when traveling and just winging it and not needing that GPS and you never get lost? Who does best maybe when you're uh, building something from a box and it comes with directions and uh, you don't need them, you can wing it, you won't have extra parts left over? Who does best at following directions in your relationship, in your marriage? Uh, just so y'all know, uh, I happen to do the best in my marriage at following directions. I never get lost. Uh, I never have parts left over. I never get frustrated because things didn't go right in making something because I follow directions. And I follow my wife's directions as well. I listen to her very well, do everything she asked me to exactly the way she wanted it done. So no need to ask her about that, but just take my word for it. I am the best at following directions. So have fun talking about that, uh, that, that particular question. Who is best at following directions? All right, welcome back. Hopefully you'll have a little bit of fun with that one. Uh, we're going to start off this evening by reading our Bible and talking about the scripture that uh, Pastor Michael read from this morning. So if you would, uh, pick somebody in the group to open their Bible and read this passage. Read Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Take some time to read through that. Let's jump into it. We're going to have one question tonight only, and then we're going to do our deep dive. So here's the question. You know, Pastor Michael talked this morning about our personal calling, having a compass. Is our compass leading us in the right direction? So when it comes to personal calling, do you have a personal calling? What is that? Tell the group what your personal calling is. Or do you have a personal calling? You feel it's a calling but you're not sure how to use that in the church right now. You don't know if there's an area in Bethel that you can use that personal calling that God has put on your life. Talk about that, share what that personal calling is, but you're, and share how you feel it's not, there, there, you don't feel like there's any place for you to use it. Maybe the group can help you find that place and, and kind of talk you through, through it a little bit. Or are you like a lot of people that you, you say, you know, I don't know, I, I serve, I do different things in the church but I'm really not sure what my personal calling is, what I was put on this earth to do. So if you don't know what that is, or if you feel you're being led in a certain area, I can tell you God is leading you. So talk about that. Where, where do you feel you're being led to in your personal calling? Or are you totally at a loss? Uh, talk about that. And I think it'll be a great discussion in the group. I think you can maybe uh, get some, some, be enlightened a little bit uh, through that as well. So talk about your personal calling. What is it? Uh, where do you think you're being led to? Uh, do you have one that you're just not really being able to use? Do you have one that you feel you're, you're using it actively right now in the church? Tell everybody about that personal calling. Have a good discussion on that one. The next uh, thing we want to talk about this evening is the deep dive. I love this part of it because uh, it gives us a chance to really talk about what, what really hit us in the service this morning. Was there something this morning that, that really, uh, maybe you asked ask a few questions, you had to, you said, I gotta write a note on this one, this was good. Was there something that, that you thought was really good? Uh, something that maybe you had a question about? Maybe you weren't sure about it. Maybe something you thought it was one way and now it's a different way. Uh, you know, there's, I, th I think in this sermon this morning, there, was, uh, there were a lot of things like that. So have some good discussion. Talk about what impressed you this morning about the message, what, what impacted you, what spoke to you, uh, what are you real, still thinking about, or do you have any questions about it? Uh, have some good discussion on that, on what, uh, how, how the message this morning speak to you. All 
All right, welcome back. Hopefully you had some great deep dive discussions on the message from this morning. Now we are at probably my favorite part of groups, and that is the time of prayer. Uh, I've been really impressed by watching a lot of your groups this past semester and how you're really taking time to pray, write those prayers down, having somebody uh, in the group that's responsible for that, and then getting those out to everybody. So take some time tonight to, to pray. Uh, you know, just give the prayer request like I know you always do. Uh, it takes some real time to pray. Don't make this a second thought. Group's getting close to ending. We got to finish up. Uh, just take some time. Slow down. Pray. Uh, but also share some praise reports. How's God been answering those prayers uh, all semester? How has He answered prayers since the two weeks ago that you, that you last met? Uh, go through that a little bit as well. Talk about uh, what God is doing uh, in each of your lives and your family and friends' lives through prayer specifically that this group is praying for. Uh, and just be sure as well, during the week, during the next two weeks before you meet again, uh, really take these prayer requests that you're going to get and receive tonight and pray for them every single day. Pray diligently for them. A lot of times we say, we're praying for you. I don't think we do it intentionally, but we forget. Something comes up. Take some time every day. Put it on your calendar. Put it on a note thing or something to remind you. But pray every single day for each of these requests and see what God will do over these next couple of weeks before you meet again. Y'all have a great night. Hopefully you have a great week. And we will see y'all again uh, in your group in two weeks. Thank you.